Hello everyone, I've got six pennies here, so I thought I'd have a look at what they're worth and how much they could be worth in better condition. Okay, there they are, let's put them out of the way and just look at them one at a time. And the first one is a 1915. The 1915 penny is notoriously hard to find in extremely fine or uncirculated condition, probably due to there being weak strikes in the first place. But this one isn't bad for a 1915. This isn't bad, it's not the recessed ear, it's just a standard variant. These are the descriptions or coin grades that I'll be using. Very good, fine, very fine, extremely fine and uncirculated. There are other grades we can look at before we carry on. So let's have a look at poor. This is the worst condition you can get that's graded, extremely worn and most of the details will be missing but you'll still be able to identify which type of coin it is. So here's an example of a poor condition coin. You can see Britannia there, just about, just about see Victoria, no writing, you can't tell what date it is. Uh, yeah, that's a poor condition coin. There's very few coins going to be worth anything in poor condition. Next we have fair condition, a grade where the coin has seen much wear and is only just discernible what the coin is. Well, again, by the size I can tell it's a penny and I can tell it's an 1866 penny, but can't read anything else on there. So I would say that was fair condition. Next we have good condition. <laughs> I think the word good is a little bit deceiving in this description. A grade which denotes considerable amount of wear. The coin is discernible, but the lettering may not be clearly visible. You can tell by the size it's a penny and you can clearly read the date 1889. It's not really readable. Can't quite read the word penny or the word one. A little bit more distinguishable on this side, but that I would say it was Good condition. Let's go back to the 1915 that we we're looking at in very good condition, worth about 50p, fine condition, a pound, very fine condition and I think this is in very fine condition for a 1915 so that'll be worth about three pounds uh, and then we go up to extremely fine 20 pounds and uncirculated 70 pounds. Just to give you a comparison this is the 1915 we're looking at and the average condition of a 1915 is going to be something like that. There's another one there, look. So for a 1915, this is very nice. So let's have a look at the definitions of these grades. We haven't done that yet, have we? Very good. A grade where the coin has experienced a lot of wear and where the details are still discernible but worn. Fine condition. A grade where the coin has seen considerable wear but is still very collectible. Many collectors, including me, like a used coin because they feel it has actually done the job it was minted for. Now we have very fine, a grade of coin where there has been obvious but relatively restricted wear on the highest parts of the coin. Now we have extremely fine, this is my favourite condition of a coin, a grade where there is little actual wear except on the high points, on copper and bronze an original luster may still well be in evidence. And then of course we've got uncirculated, a grade which indicates that a coin has never been released into circulation. Although a coin may be less than perfect when struck and could pick up some scratches and nicks while in the hopper with other coins, that does not mean that it's not uncirculated. A coin may tone or a copper coin may change from bright to dark. Again, this does not mean that it's not uncirculated. The term literally means a coin which has not seen circulation. So in theory, a coin, an uncirculated coin that's picked up quite a few scratches and nicks while in the hopper with the other coins could be in worse condition than an extremely fine coin that has done very little circulation. Okay, let's have a look at another one. This time we've got a 1950 penny. Now this is one of the lower minted ones that went into circulation, George VI. Um, to get this in very good condition, probably about three pounds but it's unlikely to find it in a bad condition because it was only circulating for a maximum of 21 years. A fine condition about six pounds, very fine condition which I think this one is about 12 pounds, extremely fine 25 pounds and an uncirculated one about 39, 40 pounds. The prices I'm giving are just average selling prices on the day I'm making this video so you could get more for them or you could get less. Next we have a 1951 penny. Now of all the thousands of coins I've searched through and over the years looking for coins I've never found a 1951. This was sent to me by Ian Ritchie so thank you very much again for this Ian it was highly appreciated. 
Look at that beauty. Only 120,000 of these were minted. That's half as many as the Kew Gardens 50p. Right, let's have a look at some prices. Very good condition, which again, you're unlikely to find one in that bad condition. Uh, 15 quid, fine, 20 pounds. Very fine, which I think this one is. It's very fine condition. You're talking about 35 pounds. Uh, extremely fine, 45 pounds. And uncirculated, about 80 pounds. Be very aware if you're buying extremely fine or uncirculated coins, especially from eBay, they're probably not going to be that when they turn up. Be wary if there's fuzzy or out of focus pictures, they've probably done that for a reason. The next penny we're going to have a look at is the 1919 KN. See the KN there to the left of the date? That stands for Kings Norton. The Kings Norton works in Birmingham. The Royal Mint in Tower Hill in London was under a lot of pressure at the end of the First World War. So they were helped out by the Kings Norton Works in Birmingham. In very good condition, about £3. Fine condition, which I'm going to say this one is, about £6. Uh, very fine condition, uh, up to £20. And now the prices really start to shoot up. In extremely fine condition, a 1919KN could get you about £600. And an extremely good condition, uncirculated with a bit of luster, could fetch well over a thousand pounds. Yep, an uncirculated 1919 KN penny, very hard to come by. There are some other grades that coin dealers use, about uncirculated, brilliant or brilliantly uncirculated, choice uncirculated, gem uncirculated, mint state, fleur de coin and proof, but we won't be using any of those in this video. Okay, the next coin we're going to look at is the 1864 penny. Now this condition, probably just fair condition, but you can read the date quite clearly and probably £5 even in that condition. Now let's have a look at some prices in better condition. Very good condition, £10. Uh, fine condition, £20. Uh, very fine condition, £60. And it jumps again. Very extremely fine condition, £600. And for an uncirculated 1864 penny, you're looking at £3,000 plus. Okay, last one now in this video, and it is 1869. And it is, well, probably poor condition. We can just read the 69 there, so we know it's going to be 1869. This is an extremely sought after coin. The official mintage figure is over two and a half million, but collectors know that is totally wrong. There could have been two and a half million pennies minted in 1869, but they certainly were not dated 1869. Even in this condition, you could get £10 for it or even more. Now, I do have another one. And as you can see, the date is very clear on this one. And I paid £5 for this, but well, let's have a look at the other side. <laughs> That's quite clear. And why am I not showing you the top? Well, because it's got a hole in it. Now, let's have a look at that hole. You can see the hole there is old. It's probably drilled in there when the coin was new. Yes, I actually paid £5 for a coin with a hole drilled in it. This is how scarce these are. 1869. That's the one to look for. I've searched loads and loads of different places on the internet, on the shops and the eBay sites and the other auction sites. Uh, these are the average selling prices. Very good condition, £63. Uh, buying condition, £158. Very fine condition, we're going up now, £458. Uh, an extremely fine condition, 1869 penny, will cost you £1,773 on average. And for a genuine, uncirculated, 1869 penny, you're looking at £4,300. Plus. So have you got one of these in your loft from a coin collection handed down through the generations? You never know. You may have. Go and have a look. <laughs> there we are. Go and see if you've got any of those coins in great condition. If you haven't subscribed already, please press that subscribe button. Us YouTubers love it when we get another subscriber. Really fantastic feeling. Completely free. All you got to do is hit that red button. And yes, I'm not joking. I really did pay £5 for a coin with a hole drilled in it.